Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a direct follow-up of my previous video where I showed this buck converter how it's improving the solar panel's amperage. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how this buck converter is actually functioning in a working solar panel setup. First up, a bit of background about my solar panel. My panel is a fifth uh, an 18.5 volt 150 watt solar panel which is enough to charge a solar a 12 volt battery I'm I usually connected directly through this PWM solar charge controller but now I have added this DC to DC step down buck converter we will now run a load on our inverter and see how how many amps it's drawing and whether there is any benefit of adding this uh, buck converter at this uh, for my solar power set solar setup okay now so we are uh, running a load on the inverter and directly we are getting 7.5 amps through the buck converter 7.6 again directly 7.4 7.5 through the buck converter 7.7 .7. again 7.5 7.7 so we are getting around 0.2 amps there's a 0.2 amp difference which is being made by this uh, buck converter Okay, so we were able to get 0.2 amp Im improvement in efficiency. That may be that not that's not much, but uh, considering our case, it's a 150 watt panel and its maximum is uh, rated for 18.5 volts. Usually, what happens is once the load is attached to the panel, the panel voltage also comes down. Likewise, this buck converter, obviously, this is not a MPPT. But uh, since the panel voltage also comes down, we are able to get slight improvement in efficiency. So say if you have a very high powered panel, let's turn off our inverter. So say if you have a high powered panel, like uh, 270 watts, which gives an output voltage of around 40 volts, this will easily, this should be easily able to uh, get down the um, uh, it can get down the voltage and also increase the amperage also if you have multiple small panels like uh, 20 watts 30 watts 50 watts panels and you want to connect them in series in that situation also this will be beneficial so the answer is it depends it depends on your solar panel setup if you have a small setup this might be worth it but if you want to get the maximum best efficiencies possible, then go for an MPPT. This is just a, it's a DC to DC step down converter. This will work properly if the input voltage is also stable. So I hope this video was very informative. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share it among your friends. And also, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my future videos. Thanks for watching.